Hi everyone, this is Cody, and in this video I'm going to be doing a review on the Baco Lap Laplander folding saw. Okay, so here's the saw. Um, it has a lock mechanism here. So basically you press it and hold it, pull it open, and then it also locks in this position. If the lock is quite solid. Um, it's not the best lock I've ever seen. Uh, I think it works like a liner lock, but I haven't heard it fail on anyone, and it seems to be quite solid, so that's good. Um, it's made out of uh, green rubber on the handle, and the handle's made out of plastic. And it has this um, blade, uh, steel blade. It's actually a, a really good quality blade. Now the tooth pattern, uh, as you can see, is really nice. It kind of has, it cuts in both directions. It has points and it has uh, little notches. It's actually quite advance the, the tooth system uh, which is really good and then it has the just a leather strap on the back you might want to replace that with paracord um, and then it's really light that's the nice thing about it it's actually quite light uh, so that allows you to take it backpacking uh, so that's kind of what it's intended for as well as camping and uh, just using it as a saw it's great for processing firewood um, it seems quite strong uh, the blade does bend a bit, which is good. I mean, you don't want a blade to be so strong and this thin. It's actually quite thin, which makes it cut through really fast um, and not be able to bend. Because then it will break. But it uh, seems to be quite solid. Um, now, it doesn't look like much until you see how it cuts. This thing cuts like really amazing. Uh, the speed of the cuts and what sort of cuts you can do is just amazing, uh, and it's really really light. So. Um, let's have a look at some cutting. Now as you can see, here I'm cutting a somewhat big diameter um, uh, branch or whatever you want to call it. It's not too big, but it's big enough. And it goes through it that fast. I mean, that's quite big. Um, and it goes through it in, I don't know, a few seconds. <laughs> so this saw is actually really amazing. So now I'm going to chop some bigger stuff. Okay, so I'm going to try chopping this. And this is quite thick, and it chops through it really fast. Now granted, this is uh, some older wood um, starting to get rotten, but that part was still actually good. Okay, so as you can see, uh, this saw is really amazing. Now, you may be asking yourself, well, how much would it cost to get one of these? Now, I think they run about 30 or 35 retail. Um, now, on Amazon, you can get one of these for $20. Now, for the weight and uh, the way it cuts, I think that's amazing. I honestly haven't seen a saw, a folding saw, uh, that actually cuts better than this. Um, it seems relatively durable, that's the one thing. Um, it should stand up because it's plastic, but it's not like the best built saw I've ever seen, uh, but that it has a good trade-off that it's really light. It's also adjustable, which I forgot to mention. I think you can buy replaceable blades, but I don't think it would probably be worth it to buy blades uh, with it only costing $20 to get the new saw. I think I heard the blades were about $15. Um, so overall, 
if you're uh, going, doing backpacking, you need a saw, or you know for that matter, even just around the house. Um, you know, this thing can cut lumber too. Uh, so there's no reason you can't use it for that. Um, just anything you need a saw for, a folding saw, this one's actually gonna be great. Uh, so I would highly recommend getting one. Uh, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next video.